All right, we're going to tackle question 11 now, which asks us which of the following is considered a pure substance? Um, so to answer this, of course, we need to know the definition of a pure substance and then basically pick out the best choice. So that's what we're getting at here, okay? Um, so this actually goes back to some vocabulary for us here at the onset of our class. We can characterize matter by a series of different terms, really vocabulary terms, okay? One of which is going to be pure substance or substance. And alternatively, we might have material that we can consider a mixture, okay? So I want to spend a few seconds talking about these two definitions, and then we'll come back to return to the question, pick which one we think is the correct answer. So let's start with mixture. Now we don't have a mixture here. We're, we're gonna wanna, well, we have some mixtures, but we're gonna wanna pick a pure substance, okay? So what's the difference? Well, a mixture, by, by definition, is gonna be two or more elements or compounds. Two or more elements or compounds. are physically, we'll say, intermingled. But not uh, chemically combined or reacted together, okay? So they're not chemically linked, they're just physically linked, mixed, okay? So this would be like if you took, um, if you went outside, you, you grabbed some dirt from your yard um, and then you took that solid dirt and you put it into a, a container, a jar, and then you put a bunch of salt in there from your kitchen cabinet and you just physically mix the two together. It's a mixture. You got different things in there, like the dirt by itself is a mixture, okay? But you've got different uh, compounds that are physically intermingled, but just not chemically combined. Okay, that's a mixture. Now, a pure substance is a little bit different than that. Okay, a pure substance is going to be a little bit different. It's not. It's not going to be the same thing. So, what's different about the pure substance as it compares to a mixture? Okay, well, the pure substance is a type of matter or material. Could be an element. Doesn't have to be though. It can be an element or a compound, either or. We'll talk about the difference here in a second, just in case you're confused on that. Which has a fixed composition. So if we've got a pure substance, it's not intermingled with anything else. It, it's, it's standing by itself. It's a unique type of matter. Now that can be an element like, like lead or tungsten or nitrogen. That's a unique type of matter. Or it could be a compound like water or sodium chloride, that's table salt. Or maybe it's caffeine. Those are all examples of compounds. But regardless of it's an element or a compound, a pure substance always has this fixed composition. Okay, it's innately this unique material that's not intermingled or mixed with anything else. And that's the difference between a pure substance versus a mixture, okay? These two things are not the same. Now, I keep using these words, of course, elements and chemical compounds, all right? And maybe you already know the difference between the two, okay? But elements, really fundamental substances, we'll say, for right now, okay? Can exist uncombined. They can exist as their native forms, okay? And when we look at the periodic table of the element, which I'm gonna guess you all have seen before, this is a list of our elements. It's a, it's a palette, essentially, of all the elements that's known to mankind 
And we can take those elements and we can chemically combine them with other elements and that makes compounds, okay? But, but elements are fundamenting, fundamental building blocks. There's these fundamental substances that we cannot break down further by chemical means. And a list of them can be found in the periodic table of the elements. Right? Now a compound is different. A compound, so again, we're getting back to all this key vocabulary right here in chapter one, right? Just make sure that we're not losing anyone out the dock, so to speak, okay? But a chemical compound combines elements together in a specific whole number, that's meant to be number, mixing ratio. Okay, so for instance, if we saw H2O, what that means is two atoms of the element hydrogen combine with one atom of oxygen. And you put those three atoms together, two of which are hydrogen and one are oxygen, and you make the chemical compound water. Water is its unique substance. It actually doesn't have properties like oxygen and also doesn't have properties like, like hydrogen. The unique substance that's made from combining these elements is completely its own characteristics. It's nothing like oxygen nor hydrogen. And that's kind of how chemistry works, right? If we mix elements, they can potentially react to form new chemical compounds, which are formed by specific whole number mixing ratios of the elements reacting. And this is the difference between compounds and elements, right? So again, this is vocabulary. So I get back to the question. And I address all this vocabulary here just to kind of be tutorial in nature. And then also because I think to a certain degree, you have to know the vocabulary to get the question right, right? That's kind of the hard part about it. If you struggle with the questions. So which of the following is a pure substance? So I think I see choice uh, A, B, and C. Tap water, seawater, and then just water. And I know from my own experience that tap water is actually a mixture. Now, maybe it's kind of scary to hear that because you think you open the water tap and all you're getting is water, right? But in fact, you're not. You're getting water and that what you get out is mostly water. But that water also is going to have lots of different ions dissolved into it. Now, now ions are charged particles we'll find. And we can have cations, which are positively charged. Or we can have anions, which we're going to find real soon, carry a negative charge. And the reason why these particles are, are charged is because they either gain or lose electrons. And it turns out that's what chemistry is really all about, gaining or, or losing electrons, moving electrons around, okay? But tap water, it can't be the right answer here because it's a mixture. It's got these ions, sodium, chloride, fluoride. Fluoride is F minus, right? It's an anion. It's got a negative charge. I put fluoride in drinking water to help prevent tooth decay, okay? So they purposely added a low concentration. So because of that, tap water is a mixture. It can't be our pure substance, okay? Now seawater is also a mixture. It's got even higher concentrations of ions present. Sodium, chloride, magnesium, calcium, lots of different minor components in seawater. So it's also a mixture. It's definitely not a pure substance. Now, toothpaste, that's an interesting choice, right? But if you have ever squeezed some toothpaste out of your uh, toothpaste uh, container there, you probably see those multiple different components and you can even see that by eye. So I, I think toothpaste is also a mixture. That's probably not the right response. And that leaves us with air and water, okay? Now, what we mean by water is um, essentially water without any ions. So it's ultimately gonna be the, uh, the correct answer here, okay? We're gonna to wanna to pick this one, I think, okay? That's gonna be correct. But before we close, why is air incorrect? 
turns out the air we breathe, the air that's in the room right now, is indeed a mixture. It's approximately, I'll say 80% nitrogen and approximately 20% oxygen. Now, this isn't exactly right because there's many, I'll say minor components of air. For instance, there's a lot of inert gases that are floating around in the room right now. There's a lot of uh, pollutant gases that are present in even lower concentrations than these two. But, but these two are the major components of air. So in fact, air is not a pure substance, it's, it's a mixture. It's only about 20% oxygen as well. So the correct answer here is, is water. And what we mean by that again is, is pure water, something that doesn't have any ions in, all right? So that's it.